Sheriff, following some developing news right now at 503, a, the U.S. House just passed a bill that touches virtually on every single aspect of the electoral process. That is sweeping government ethics and election bill is widely supported by Democrats, but will likely hit a roadblock in the Senate. CBS horse Eric Pointer is live in the newsroom with the details. Eric, good morning to you. Some interesting stuff here. Yes, so HR1 has been a priority for Democrats since 2018, but they now say it has a renewed sense of urgency after former President Donald Trump repeatedly claimed of unproven voter fraud. Now, meanwhile, Republicans say that it will take away from the states within their own elections. It would do things like strike down hurdles to voting and aim to bring transparency to campaign finance systems that allow wealthy donors to anonymously bankroll political causes. It would also restrict partisan gerrymandering of congressional districts. Now, gerrymandering is where a group tries to change a voting district to create an outcome that helps them or hurts the group against them. So H.R. 1 uh, really is to preserve the opportunity for people to vote. After that enormous turnout, we saw Republican legislatures all over the country try and stop that voting, to stop the absentee voting, to impose barriers, to make it harder for Americans to vote. But Republicans feel this expansion of government's role in election limits political speech and is an overreach in a federal power grab. Under the Constitution, we genuinely defer to states and counties to run elections. Democrats want to change that. Former Vice President Mike Pence spoke out about it. He says it increases opportunities for election fraud by preventing states from being allowed to implement their own reforms. He said, quote, election reform is a national imperative, but under our Constitution, election reform must be undertaken at a state level. Indiana's Attorney General Todd Rokita has also come out and urged Congress to oppose the bill. He and other attorney generals sent a letter to the leadership about it. I'll have more on that coming up in the next hour of news. In the newsroom, Eric Pointer, back to you in the studio, Nick.